I was a hopeless romantic when I was young. You could find me on any given night, sitting at my bedroom window, gazing up at the sky and wishing upon a star. What a curiously human thing to do to wish upon a star. And if I could somehow step back in time and converse with my boyhood self, I would offer him this sage advice. Oh foolish younger version of me, a star is merely a ball of gas with two forces in conflicting opposition to each other. Gravity trying to collapse the star under its own weight, battling against the nuclear fusion occurring in its core. And those forces won't always be in balance. So don't pin your hopes and dreams upon a star because someday that star will find itself crushed and then torn apart, just like your hopes and dreams. <laughs> As I grew older, I started to think more about how our relationship with the stars has come to change. Some very worried, anxious people often ask me, can the stars really have an impact on our daily lives? And I say yes. But it doesn't matter if you're a Sagittarius or Capricorn or any of that other nonsense. The sun, our closest star, provides us with all the heat and light we need for life to take place every day. And in less than eight billion years time, the sun will exhaust its supply of hydrogen and will collapse in on itself before becoming a red giant star. And we'll watch from Earth as it grows bigger and brighter in the sky until it eventually engulfs us and devastates our planet. And that too will have an impact on our daily life. <laughs> But it's not just the end of our world that the stars promise us. They promise us new worlds too. When I first gazed at the stars all those years ago, we knew of only one that had planets around it, our sun. We long suspected other stars of having planets, but it took us until the 1990s until we started to find them. Now we know of 677 stars that have planets around them. And we've gotten so good at detecting these planets, we think the ratio of planets to stars might be as high as one to one. That means in our galaxy alone, there may be more than 100 billion planets waiting to be discovered. Untouched, pristine new worlds that have never even heard of nuclear weapons or financial systems or Justin Bieber. <laughs> it's not just during my own lifetime that the role of stars has changed. Long before we knew what they were, mankind worshiped the stars as gods and used them as tools of navigation around the world. Nowadays, we know that almost everything around us came from the stars. The life essential elements, carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen, were all formed in the cores of red giant stars. And they've shown us that without stars, we would be nothing. The stars have taught us where and what we came from. And they tell us how everything will end. And when I look at the stars now, I find myself humbled. But I also feel a tiny bit satisfied because maybe when I was younger, it wasn't so silly to find myself wishing upon a star after all. Thank you.